Well, the private equity sector has had to uh, cope with uh, a prolonged uh, weak economic conditions uh, uh, for the best of the last uh, five, six years now. Uh, after that, uh, AFMD has come into play, uh, so uh, we've had to deal with uh, that as well, trying to understand what it means, trying to understand also what we can get out of that. So that's now in full flex. Right now, actually, we're uh, have, having to deal with yet uh, another point, which is the uh, on the tax round. So it's not really been a, a quiet period for private equity in the last years. The fundraising front, actually, things are pretty good because we, uh, I think, 2014 sense to uh, set a, a record uh, for fundraising since the crisis. So I hear a lot of optimism for private equity in, in Europe in, in general. I think that Luxembourg has benefited a lot from these uh, the changes that I mentioned, especially on the AFMD front. Firms tend to continue to rationalize uh, and hence to find and need a, a reliable jurisdiction to put all of their uh, operations under uh, a single jurisdiction. And um, so I see a lot of uh, dynamism uh, in the sector here in Luxembourg. The AFM uh, passport should actually provide a legal certainty and, and a substantial improvement in GP's ability to raise funds in the union. And I think like Luxembourg has been quite key on that front because we've had decades of experience in the distribution of funds. Our service providers really uh, understand and they know what clients expect and they're able to address uh, all, all of their questions. In addition, I think we can clearly see uh, a couple of trends that are emerging in Luxembourg. First, the decision of uh, an increasingly large number of uh, private equity and venture capital man uh, managers to set up uh, uh, their AIFMs here in Luxembourg and beef up their existing staff when they have some for the transactional layer with people not only in risk management and, uh, and compliance, but also uh, with front office people doing portfolio management. And second, I think that the, the introduction of the special limited partnership uh, is really a big plus. That was introduced at the same time as the AFMD last summer of 2013, and uh, it has generated a lot of interest and activity. So for the first time, GPs uh, are able to regroup uh, their fund activities under one single jurisdiction. Uh, they're able to copy-paste legal documentation uh, from offshore funds they were using before and bring them onshore to Luxembourg using the special limited partnership regime. By now I believe the uh, positive contribution of venture capital and private equity to our economies is a, a well-established fact uh, that is recognized by both our politicians but also the, the population at large. And the reason is people see what technologies have brought to their lives in terms of benefits. Our economies are transformed, deeply transformed by technology as new uh, jobs are created by young innovative companies and also by more mature companies that embrace change. And these are uh, very often led by VCs and private equity. Venture capital actually has also been a driving uh, force uh, behind uh, most of the last decade's uh, innovations in clean tech, uh, from solar to wind, uh, to energy efficiency, waste and water management. So these are very uh, positive developments for our societies. As a whole, venture capital yields significant uh, benefits for both the wider economy and, and society.